Spend probably about 90% of my life in this kitchen. Meet Sean, the molecular gastronomist. Oh. <laughs> Just make it up as I go along. What the fuck is this, dude? Like pornography for chefs. What a fucking nightmare. You won't believe how much curry powder works in uh, chocolate. The reaction is fantastic. I just love my job. New ideas. I'm happy with that. Tell me another job where you get satisfaction like <laughs> Shit, that's much better. Best job in the world. That's another good one for the books. I ain't touching no pig nipple. Then people like you annoy me and I don't want to do it anymore. Yeah. People are a fucking nightmare. Sean has fucked up big time. You get the average Joe Blog chef in his scruffy fucking chef whites making steak and ale pies in a microwave. Them guys need fucking shooting. You need to have some progression, and that's what I'm doing. See you, hon. It's cooking, Jim, but not as we know it. Town Primary School, this is where it all started. This really, really evil little home economics teacher, she was awesome. She said, Sean, you'll never amount to anything in life. You've got the attention span of an orange, you're mischievous, you don't listen to what I say. So instead of cooking, she put me in a fucking knitting class, making little doilies and shit from my parents, and um, I would have rather been making cake. Sean the chef is a master baker, pudding, pie and pastry maker, biscuits, buns and birthday cakes. Everything is marvellous that Shawnee makes. Despite the lack of encouragement, Middlesbrough lad Sean is starting to make a name for himself. The media love him. A little bit of joy has been brought into our lives once again because Sean the chef is here. And a bit of a shock on the old pole as well this week. I know, sadly the vegetarians didn't win. You're gutted, aren't you? Yeah, I'm really, really gutted about that because so I could just sit for three hours and write recipes about stuffed olives and peppers and stuff. Sean made the national headlines when he won Pudding of the Year. He created a hollow ball of ice cream, frozen in liquid nitrogen. But it's been a hard journey. Sean's first attempt at running his own restaurant ended when he went spectacularly bankrupt. This place is really special. This used to be a nice little restaurant called Attitude that myself and my partner opened. We had it for just over a year. The food is special, it was right out there. But unfortunately, I just don't think the people in Middlesbrough are ready for it just yet. Fuck Middlesbrough, really. So I think I'm going to try... But the good people of Durham were more ready. He started work at the gourmet spot, and his special brand of cooking proved a great success. You get a pre-starter, then you'll get your starter, then you'll get your main course, then you'll get a pre-dessert, and then you'll have your dessert. So you get two extra courses off us anyway. I really wouldn't. That's why I don't garnish them with heavy chips and stuff. Cause honestly, well, okay, we'll go with your advice. All right, then. If okay. not, you can come in the kitchen and we'll keep my Yes, exactly. We'll know where to find you. We'll come we? in the kitchen and ask for a butty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can be quite they fancy. <laughs> The world face of molecular gastronomy is Heston Blumenthal. But don't mention that name to Sean. Service! just told him to get him man. This is your life, isn't it, Sean? Yeah, pretty much. 24 fucking 7. No, no, man. Can I pick one tune to play somewhere? No. No, I don't mean it on the iPod. I mean on our show. My show. It's your show. Fucking right it is. I'm the one doing all the fucking work. No, no. I must be able to. Pick a tune somewhere. Favourite. Dakota by Stereophonics. Molecular gastronomy takes cooking to a new level. An alchemy of culinary skills and the appliance of science. Serious. This is not just about taste. This is texture, colour and the unexpected. This is art on a plate. Sean dreams of getting a Michelin star, the Olympic gold medal for chefs. Hi, darling. Hello, Sean, babe. How are you? After a busy night at the restaurant, an old friend asks Sean to cook for a dinner party. Um, but I've invited six, uh, six people uh, for a dinner party in a couple of weeks' time. And I know you're really busy, cool. but I just wondered if you could maybe come and cater for us. 
Normal menu or fucked up menu. Of course, your crazy stuff. What else? A chef is only as good as his ingredients. So, while his girlfriend does the weekly shop, Sean picks up some ingredients for the dinner party at the local DIY store. 